is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be getting into some aew action figure stuff going on you guys know that comic-con is coming up this week or comic-con at home because sdcc was canceled got to mention it every single video just in case somebody out there doesn't know san diego comic-con was canceled so we are going to be, be doing comic-con at home where they're going to reveal all the action figures we're going to be getting from mattel aew wwe all of it will be over the internet and live streams and different photographs being posted across all social media platforms so tons of news coming this week that is going to be very crazy stay tuned to the channel for more stuff but today ladies and gentlemen we have some stuff that came out yesterday now i don't know if it, there's a lot of speculation on this it could be confirmed it could not be confirmed there's a lot of stuff where it's like maybe it's true but maybe it's not true there's a lot of like i feel like uh kind of like where uh, where there's smoke there's fire you know what i'm saying like probably not completely accurate subject to change a lot of things going on but um maybe we'll find out some of this stuff at san diego comic-con but yesterday on twitter somebody took to twitter and said that uh aew unrivaled collection series three through seven were completely leaked now uh, i was on twitter and you know i i looked at it and, um, you know, I, I don't ever want to just completely destroy somebody and be like, oh, that's completely made up. But at the same time, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, that's completely true. No matter what, anybody can just randomly tweet something. So I wanted to, you know, wait a little bit before I got on here and put it up to you guys. But I'm not going to fully confirm this. This is just something that was on Twitter. And, you know, anything's possible. But uh, I'll pull up the tweets right here. You guys can see here. It says, uh, it's from Will Henderson. He says, so action figure junkies, I did some digging in my store system. And it appears we've got listed in our systems for who will be in the upcoming waves of AEW figures. You guys can see there it says Wave 3, Jericho, Young Bucks, Darby Allen, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Darby Allen, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy sounds completely fantastic to me. I don't know why you would put Jericho and Young Bucks in Wave 3 when there's so many other characters out there. You know, uh, I mean, you have a ton of characters that you could have made instead of remaking a Jericho that would be the third Jer or fourth Jericho if you include the little Chase variant from Series 1. And then the Young Bucks, we also know who are in Series 1. Maybe they're remaking those guys for an earlier wave because they knew they could do them much better. I'm not exactly sure. Now, again, these waves are not confirmed. I'm just getting on here and letting you guys know the news. Um, you know, I I've never, you know, I've never followed Will Henderson. I don't know who that is. I don't know where... You know, he works or anything like that. It's not like where I've had, uh, you know, like they are action figures. They have a pretty good track record of posting stuff that uh, usually comes out to be true. Other websites that I post up to you guys, other news and leaks that I post up to you guys, usually it is from a reliable source that has put up stuff that is accurate in the past. So um, I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but at the same time, I am going to be looking into this list and just giving you guys my own personal feedback on it. So putting this up. Uh, there is Series 3, you guys can see right there. Another thing about these waves, which we'll get into at the end of the video, you guys will notice a trend here, but I will, uh, I will, I will, I will tell you guys about that. Next up, we have Wave 4. Omega, Cody, Matt Hardy, Jake Hager, Mark Quinn, and Isaiah Cassidy. So, we have both members of Private Party. We have Matt Hardy, Jake Hager, Cody, and Omega. Now, these, uh, I guess this is possible, you know, Matt Hardy being that early, um, it kind of seems like they would have already had these waves planned. Maybe they had somebody else there, and then Matt Hardy signed with the company, so they decided to scrap whoever was going to be in that spot. But this would be four waves straight now where we don't have a women's figure. Are they just not going to make women's figures? I don't see that being the case. I feel like we are going to be getting women's figures. But another Omega is cool with me. I'm down with any Omega. I feel like, like I, like I said regarding Series 1 Omega, I think the more and more they make Omega, they're going to improve about it. You know, it's going to get better every single time they make a new Kenny Omega so it'll be just like you know the first John Cena isn't near as good as the recent Ultimate Edition John Cena so you know what I'm saying they get better and better they're going to continue to get better and better other figures will be other than other figures and they'll get better as they go on the true effects technology the articulation the graphics everything about figures as they stay and continue on usually get better with time so I expect that nothing more from the AEW and Rival Collection but there is way for another Cody as well I am excited if we do get the rest of these guys. I do expect to see a lot of these characters at, you know, Comic-Con at home because, um, you know, I feel like they're going to come out with a bang. I expect to see a whole new series, maybe like a basic line or a battle pack line or an epic moment style line or something like that. I completely expect it. Some exclusives. I completely expect all that. But there is Wave 4 right there. 
Wave 5 pulling up is another Jericho. Brody Lee, Lance Archer, Ray Phoenix, Pentagon, Joey Janela. So there it is again, another Jericho. So um, I'm not sure if Jericho is going to be like the Roman Reigns or their, their John Cena where they're just pumping them out every single series. That is kind of what it seems like. But again, another series where there are no women. I'm not sure if that's going to be a thing. Are they going to not make women's figures? I do not see that. I feel like they're going to at least try to plug in one or two women here and there because, uh, you know, you got to get your women's championships. You got to get your Nyla Rose, your Britt Baker, your Riho. There's a lot of women's figures that they can make. And I think people will, you know, want them in their collections. They would fit in nicely with our, our Mattel WWE elites. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I do think that these people will be made eventually. I'm just not sure if it's going to be in this order. I'm not sure if these lines are completely accurate. But I do think we probably will see figures of all these people at uh, Comic-Con at home. I really do. I genuinely feel that way, especially Brody Lee like he's a big time signing leader of the Dark Order. Uh, we've already seen uh, the, the Lucha Brothers. We've already seen those guys. Joey Janela, guys like that. I mean, I definitely believe we are going to see these guys, but there's Wave 5. Moving on to Wave 6, guys, we have another Kenny Omega, two more Young Bucks, MJF, Orange Cassidy, and Scorpio Sky. So I'm not sure if this would be the Orange Cassidy that they've been teasing, if this would be another one compared to the, you know, the exclusive that they're talking about possibly having. Uh, Scorpio Sky would be beautiful. Another MJF. I do believe MJF is a part of series number two. The Young Bucks again, which we saw in a couple waves back and also in wave one. And then another Omega, which again, I think Omega will probably be another one that they make a lot of. I just see that happening. I haven't seen Pac on these things yet which I feel like Pac would be a pretty big talent to get. I'm not sure exactly if he's under a merchandise deal. I'm not even sure exactly where his contract is with AEW at this moment, but I feel like uh, Pac would be in one of these figure things already, um, which leads me to, I guess, okay, okay, he's in the last set. So in Wave 7, we have John Moxley, Hangman Page, Pac, Sean Spears, Santana, and Ortiz. So um, we have we have Santana and Ortiz, Sean Spears, of course, Ty Dillinger, Pac finally making his appearance, Hangman Page, which we also will see in Series 2, and John Moxley, who we will also see in Series 2. So that is Waves 3 through 7. We've already seen Series 1 and 2. We've seen Series 1 over and over again. We've seen Series 2 here and there. We saw it at Toy Fair with, uh, it has Dustin Rhodes, it has John Moxley, it has MJF, it has the uh, Lucha Brothers, and it has Hangman Page. So that is going to be an excellent wave. But the rest of Series 3 through 7, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about these. Again, I was on Twitter and saw these, and I did want to give credit to Will Henderson. If these turn out to be true, then absolutely. Um, we also have some some more things from this screenshot that I got um, going around the community that says, uh, you know, it has a list of UPC codes here from Walmart, it looks like. And you guys can see here, it says John Moxley, Pac, Adam Page, Sean Spears, Santana, Ortiz, and Chase to be determined. And then the other one on the other side says Brody Lee, Lance Archer, uh, Ray Phoenix, Pentagon Jr., Joey Janela, Chase to be determined, Rare to be determined. So I guess these Rare and Chase figures are going to be appearing at Walmart, so that's a pretty big deal there. I wasn't expect I, I wasn't sure how that was going to work, if they were going to appear at stores, if you are going to have to get them offline. I, I didn't know how that was going to work. So that's very interesting to see that they are going to be in stores if this is in fact true. I don't know how you would fake this, honestly. You know, you got an item number, you got a UPC, you got the retail price of the figures there from a screenshot off of a store system. So... I'm not exactly sure. Again, take all this with a grain of salt. You never know what can go around. I know people have made up stuff before. I'm not saying these are made up because I want to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And I I genuinely, like, why would somebody just go to Twitter and be like, I was doing some digging in my store system and here's all the AEW figures. I don't know. I just don't see somebody making that up. But there are some things that are questionable. Like, maybe these things are subject to change. Maybe uh, there are women's figures that they have planned. Maybe they plan on doing a whole nother series for their women. We don't know exactly what the details are of all the AEW action figure lines. They could easily change at any moment. But uh, I think that Britt Baker and Riho and Nyla Rose and Penelope Ford and all these other women's figures, I think that uh, they could be, that, that they're going to be made. I just don't see them not being made because there's a market out there and I, for one, do want to add those ladies to my collection personally. So I think that uh, it would be a missed opportunity not to include those women, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think all this stuff is true? Do you think that this is the actual leaks. Um, I do think that Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are coming soon. I think that they probably are a part of Series 3. Darby Allen as well. I could definitely see those guys being a part of Series 3. If we get another Jericho, which we probably could. We could get another pair of Bucks and Jericho and more Omegas and stuff like that. I don't know. The series are just laid out kind of weird. 
But I guess uh, we'll just have to see about that. We'll see how that all goes. But I am super excited for Comic-Con at Homecoming this week, guys. Tons of new news. Tonight we have Extreme Rules, so I will be putting up my review and my thoughts. I am going to record my reaction to Dolph Ziggler versus Drew McIntyre just in case Dolph Ziggler wins the big one. <laughs> But seriously, though, um, I am going to record my reaction just in case he does win the WWE Championship because I think that will be a hilarious reaction video for you guys to check out. But let me know what you guys think of all these waves down in the comment section below. Do you think they're legitimate? What do you think of all of it? Who do you hope to see at Comic-Con at home? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to all these guys. I would love to see all of these guys. And um, I, I hope that most of them are true. I mean, I think that that would be absolutely amazing. But Comic-Con at home is coming up this week. And we're going to find out everything. So many new figures I'm going to be putting up to you guys. A lot of news, like tons and tons of figures and images and news and reactions coming this week from WWE and Mattel and AEW and Jazz Wares and the Unrivaled Collection. So stay tuned, guys. That is going to do it. Hopefully uh, my little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho comes in soon so I can finally get a review up of that thing. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.